On day eight, I hiked 13.5 miles. I passed Rocky Top, Thunder Mountain, Derrick Knob, and Siler's Bald Knob shelters before sleeping in the Double Spring Gap shelter. Morning, friends. Getting a late start here. It's about 40 degrees and raining. The temperatures are supposed to go down today. Whew. Slept pretty good last night, warm. Uh, noticed when I woke up this morning that one of the corners of my tarp was kind of flapping around. So between that and just this mist, um, I wouldn't say my quilts are wet, but they're definitely moist. So I may not shoot a whole lot of video today because I'm going to keep my hands warm and uh, don't want to be taking off my gloves and my mittens too much. So here we go, 13 miles. Made it to Rocky Top. I don't think I'm in Tennessee. Not a whole lot to see today. Slow going today. Whew. You got your wind, you got your cold, you got your rain. It's the trifecta of a crappy hiking day. Whew. I got about eighth of a mile to the first shelter here. Yeah. Sit in there, eat my breakfast. Imagine when I got here and saw a tarp, and I was like, oh. I don't know how many other people are thinking they're like, start a fire and I don't even know if the other shelters have tarps. Some people are stopping there early for the day because of the weather. I'm gonna keep on going, but uh, be smart at the same time. There's another shelter in 5.7 miles. I made it to the Siler's Bald Shelter. It was kind of rough going up that hill, but I'm just going to stop, have a little bit of a snack here. 1.7 miles up farther is to where the shelter I'm going to bed down for the night. Not quite as windy anymore. It sure is wet and foggy. Going well. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you. On day nine, I hiked 21 miles. I explored Klingman's Dome and then passed through Newfound Gap. I checked out Charlie's Bunyan and passed many scenic views before setting up camp near Peck's Corner Shelter. Good morning. We are at the top of Klingman's Dome, the highest point on the Appalachian Trail. Whew. I've been here before, but it was in the middle of the tour season and there were 10,000 people here. And now I am the only one here. And it is awesome.
made it to Newfound Gap. Freaking nuts up here. People all over the place. It is Sunday, so a lot of people just looking around. No, I'm good, thanks. So, anyway, get through all of this mess. Some through hikers over here. I'm just gonna keep on rolling. Some toilets over there. Hiking along here, got about two and a half miles to camp. Came across this wonderful view. Ah, man, night and day from yesterday. Beautiful out here. I made it to Bradley's view. This one's for you, Miyagi. Sometimes when you're looking for water, the creek, the spring doesn't have a good faucet. I found Put a nice leaf in there. You can get a nice little faucet coming out. Pro tip! On my way down to Peck's shelter. I'm not a big fan of the old let's hike 0.4 miles off the trail down a hill to a shelter bit, but I'm still in Smoky Mountains National Park. Got to camp at a shelter, and the next one up is like five miles, so it's about four o'clock. I'm beat. That ain't happening. All right, I can see the shelter coming up here. I can give you a tour of the shelter. I heard nobody's here yet, so... So it looks a little smaller than the others. It says there's room, whoa, for 12. Kind of muddy. Nice little porch out here. Yeah. About the same size as yesterday's, maybe just a tad smaller. Upper bunk. Lower bunk, people just sleep in there. I was sleeping on top last night, but tonight, I'm gonna set up my hammock. I gotta let that thing dry out a little bit. There's the bear cables over here. If you're curious how they work. Little hook on the end, goes into a tree. There's uh, hooks up there on a pulley, and you just pull them up. Probably not a good idea to hang my, or to hang my hammock underneath the food. Bear might think I'm the entree. All right, I gotta find a spot. Went ahead, made dinner, filtered some water, hung the bear bag, Socialized, there's probably 10, 15 people here. Uh, le learned a new term that more accurately describes me is I'm not a through hiker, I'm a lasher. A long ass section hiker. Girl uh, named Acorn taught me that. So anyway, gonna rest up the body, hit it hard again tomorrow. On day 10, I hiked 19.8 miles. I passed Tri-Corner Knob and Cosby Knob Shelters and Mount Kemmerer before camping near Davenport Shelter.
morning. It's a chilly, windy day. Great hiking weather though. Look at this view. Making good time. Probably about 12 miles in. I'm not sure how far I'm gonna go today. We'll see. But, pretty good. I gotta poop. Where's the privy? The Cosby Knob Privy. Good ventilation. Got lots of handicap bars here. Got some uh, chips to throw on the toilet after you're done. This is the best privy I've been on on the AT. It's also the only one. Made it to the Cosby Knob Shelter. It's right after noon. I think I'm gonna go about another seven miles today. So I'm just gonna stop here, take a little break, have a little lunch. Most of the trail for the rest of the day here is downhill, so a little bit easier, harder, <coughs> harder on the knees. It is what it is. But I did have a problem this morning. I crawled under a log, oh, probably mile two, about mile eight, I went down to grab for my water and it was gone. So I lost one of my water bottles. I'm down to one 700 milliliter water bottle, which is enough. I mean, water's probably every five miles or so and in this type of weather, I can go a lot farther than that. But I'm going to finish off the last... Whoa, I got a lot here. I'm not going to finish off the last, but I'm going to have some Doritos. And what else? Uh, how about some beef sticks? So I got all set up here at Davenport Gap Shelter. Went up uh, to the shelter, which is right up there. My hammock is set up on the side of a hill in a boulder field, but it works. Went up there, had uh, some dinner, some uh, conversations, acorns up there again, another guy from Minnesota, um, a couple other guys, but it's kind of fun talking to the same people uh, a couple nights here in a row, chatting with them about their through hikes, so tomorrow morning pack up early again get down to standing bear farm where my car is and head on home we'll see you tomorrow on day 11 i hiked 3.5 miles i walked through devonport gap under interstate 40 and on to Standing Bear Farm Hostel. Good morning. I'm officially out of the Smoky Mountains National Park. It's kind of a, it's a nice morning. It kind of warmed up overnight and uh, making my way back out to Standing Bear Farm. I have some trail magic here. What's your name again? Easy. So far so good. So far so good. Class, class, of class of 19. Class of 19. Yeah. A nice warm everything bagel with cream cheese and she's got coffee and 
all sorts of good stuff in I've here. I've got treats. I know you're heading to Standing Bear, but bandanas if you need another bandana. So why do you do trail magic? To give back. Yeah. Because it's fun and it gives me a high all day long after I do it. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Makes me happy. We've got Pilgrim over here. I guess he was in the same shelter as me last night. I was. What do you think of this trail magic? <clears throat> Couldn't be better. Couldn't be better. I'm fixing to get a, a two day off the trail. Nice. Yeah. You're going to host me at her house. Nice. Thank you very much. Yeah. Happy trails. Good, how are you? I made it back to Standing Bear Farm, ran in, checked out, picking up my car here. This is the end of my AT hike. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of this adventure. It was uh, definitely a roller coaster, both the trail, constantly up and down, physically, with my knees, emotionally, it was a struggle, but we made it. Definitely some type two fun. Hey, if you like this video, do me a favor, check out Midwest Backpacker, Backpacker on Instagram and Facebook. Go ahead and hit subscribe. <sighs> we'll see you on the trail.